Yo, what's up, guys? You guys already know what time it is, y'all. It is Raw versus SmackDown Survivor Series 2020 predictions, guys. And, um, yeah, you know, we're on the road to Sunday. Because, you see, it's almost about to become Survivor Series. Because we only got, like, I don't know, two days left. But, um, yeah, can't wait to see it, though. Can't, make a, can't wait to make a live reaction of it. So, yes, can't wait. But, um... Here's one thing. Have you ever forgot about predictions? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Survivor Series 2020 match card predictions. With Mega Flint as the one and only. So, here we go, guys. So, first we have the SmackDown Women's Champion, Sasha Banks, versus the Raw Women's Champion, Asuka. So, we get it. We all love Asuka. We all do. We, we all do. But, um, yeah, but I'm really, uh, you know, I'm really a big fan of Sasha when, when 2017, but now since she's turning heel on 2019 and now she's finally turned back into a face in 2020, I kind of like her now, but let me tell you some Oscar. Oscar is the Empress of tomorrow. She has undefeated streaks, but yeah, she did have one loss against Charlotte Flair, but yeah, but I mean, for us, Sasha's, I mean, Asuka's ready. Asuka or Sasha will be ready for this. Besides, these two are my favorite women superstars. But who am I picking? Who am I picking? Who am I picking? I'm picking Asuka. Asuka, she beats Sasha Banks on Raw, SummerSlam, and everything, mate. But, um, yeah, so what I'm saying is, though. Asa's gonna win this. Asa's gonna win this because she keep the little tail on. But, but she, she has to be careful for Reckoning. And Sasha Banks need to be careful for Carmella. Because they might come and attack them. So, yeah, I'm going for Asuka. Alright. Next one. We have the United States Champion, the CEO of the Hurt Business, Bobby Lashley. Versus. The man who just returned, a coward who don't want to defend his Intercontinental Championship every SmackDown, Sami Zayn. Let me tell you guys the difference about Sami Zayn and Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley, he defends his title every every day and every night because hey, nobody can defeat him, man. Hey, they gonna they gonna get it. He, he's gonna get every every superstars in a full. Lock. The full Nelson lock. And guess what? They're all going to tap out. They all will. But the difference between Sami Zayn is that he's afraid of defending his Intercontinental Championship, alright? He's just afraid. He's afraid. But, um, listen. You see, on every Monday Night Raw and every Final Night SmackDown, they both have to defend their titles. So why haven't Sami Zayn did that? So, yep, I'm giving it to Bobby Lashley. I'm going for Bobby Lashley for that one. Yep, Bobby Lashley will always get that win. Because, see, he beat Sami Zayn at Money in the Bank 2018. So, yep, he's going to defeat Sami Zayn. And Sami is going to get his ass kicked. Sorry, Sam, you're going to get your ass kicked, bro. By the Almighty. All right. Next one, next one, next one. All right. Now, this time... This is now for uh, the dream match that everybody wants as Survivor Series. It is the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Street Profits, versus your power of positivity, the Raw Tag Team Champions, the New Day. As you guys already know, the, okay, so I think. So let me tell you guys something. So the street puppets they're trying to they're like really trying to turn heel. Because they know the New Day's weaknesses. Weakness. But that is not gonna stop the New Day though, because see, the New Day they've been see they've been breaking barriers, they've been knocking down doors, they became full time 
SmackDown Tag Team Champions before the Street Profits even had that SmackDown Tag Team Championship. But listen, the New Day, but then when the New Day has a Raw Tag Team Championship, the Street Profits are never afraid of no tag teams. Because you know why? The Street Profits are doing the same thing like the New Day. So, who? Who? Who am I going for on this one? Who am I going for, man? Who am I going for, bro? I don't know. Who am I going for, man? But let me take out something right quick. So, yeah. So, let's take all the matters that whoever, like, all the SmackDown, all the tag teams, they did good stuff. They make all the good sh shows and all that stuff. And, um, yeah. So, imagine if, you know, the New Day beats the Street Profits. And, um... And, um, yeah, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm going for the New Day on this one. Because, you see, the Street Puppets are being heel turners right now. So, yeah, I'm going for the New Day. Sorry, Street Puppets. I know you guys are my best tag team of all time, though. But I got to give it to the New Day. Because you guys are acting really turning heel right now. I'm just playing with a new day. I'm going for the street poppers on this one. I'm going for the street poppers on this one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because they want to smoke and they are ready for the new day, man. They're ready for the new day. Okay. Next one we have is the 5-on-5 five five Women Traditional Elimination Tag Team Match. We have Team... Team Raw, Team Women, the women's from Team Raw and the women's from Team SmackDown. So, yeah. I'll go over Team Raw on this one because, see, with Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, they are unstoppable. They can't even, they, they've been breaking barriers, man. Hey, you can't stop them, too. Heck, man, like, they're unbeatable. They're untouchable. All of that. But. Team SmackDown, though, they have the EST, the quickest, the toughest, the greatest, the, the betterest, the speedest, the smartest, Bianca Belair, the Rock Squad. So, but we still got to wait for, you know, two people who will join the team, women, the, the women's, we got to wait for two women's. Who's gonna join the team SmackDown? Well, heck, they are, Team Raw already got their people. They have Nia Jax, Shannon Baszler, Lacey Evans, and Peyton Royce. So if they bring Billy Kay in the mix, we're gonna have an iconic versus an iconic. So yep, yeah, I'm going for Team Raw. Team Raw, you know they're doing the best they could. They're doing the best they can. So um, yeah, I'm going for Team Smack. I'm going for Team Raw. Team Raw. You see, Team Raw's been the best show of all time. Because, see, with the women's match of all they have in, in um, Team Raw, uh, in, in the Raw, Monday Night Raw, and the women's match they don't have on Friday Night Smackdown, like all the years. So, yep, I'm going for Team Raw. Because, see, with Shannon Baszler and Nia Jax, they are better, they're bigger, and they're strongest, and they always want to break people's arm and put Lana through a Samoan drop on, on every Freaking table, but but no 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 no. But here's my other prediction: If Lana goes to another another table again, I swear Nia Jax got to put Nia Jax really got to put Lana through that table again. Ten. They're gonna mix it ten times. All right. Next one we have is all right. Next one we have is the men's five on five tag team match. Okay, so, alright, so, now we have a 5 on 5 just a man's match, yeah, you know, I'm, you know, I know I'm going for, I'm going for Team Raw, look what they got, they got the Monday, the Friday night dumb savior, a loser, who I think is a wannabe king, <laughs> yeah, 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 look at those. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about you, Corbin. 
And then that, but but you know they got Kevin Owens, Jey Uso. They they these two are the best. But I don't think Seth Rollins or uh, King Clover, they're not good. They are not good at all. But now I'm thinking the last member of Team SmackDown might be Biggie. Because heck, because I just saw the news and it says that it's going between Lars Sullivan and Big E. And whoever wins will take the last spot of Team SmackDown. And everyone knows it's going to be Big E. It's going to be Big E. But still, Team Raw, they have AJ Styles, Braun Strowman, Keith Lee, Matt Riddle, and the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. So, all I got to know is... Is Team Raw going to work together or are they still going to have a brawl? So, yeah, I'm going for Team Raw because, look, they have to work together. They have to become a team, okay? They have to be better with AJ Styles because AJ Styles, though, man, he, he does not want Team Raw to lose. So, yeah, I'm going for Team Raw. All right. I really don't want to lose this, this one. Alright, that's what we got. Which might be the main event. We have Mr. Two Time WWE Champion Drew McIntyre versus the Big Dog. And his, his Fire Night SmackDown Island. He is a tribal chief. Roman Reigns, Mr. Universal Champion. He's still been going at it since WrestleMania 35, since when Drew McIntyre becomes Shane McMahon's business partner, since Stomping Ground, since all the way to Extreme Rules. So, but now since, since, no, 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 what I'm talking, what I'm talking tired of is, Roman Reigns, you've been in Raw since 2016 and all the way to 20... Uh, 18 and 2019, but now you're just saying I don't watch Raw, but you already showed up on Raw through 2012, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 2017, 2018, and 2000 and freaking 19. I mean, half of the 2019, then you went drafted to SmackDown. So, what makes you think you don't watch SmackDown, Roman? Because you been came in. But Drew McIntyre, he might be the face of Monday Night Raw, man. He is, he, he is the face of Monday Night Raw right now. Because you know why? Because he is the two-time WWE Champion. And he is ready to kick Roman Reigns' head off, man. Just like what he did to Randy Orton. And you guys have seen that? It's on. It's all right there in that video card, y'all. It's in that video card right there. But yes, Drew McIntyre is ready. He is focused on Roman Reigns. He is ready to claim on him just like what he did at that Royal Rumble and to toss his butt out of that ring. Because you know why? Because now he's not a Royal Rumble now. It's now a 1v1 now. So now, who am I going for? Universe Champion or going to be Champion? You know what? Forget it. I'm going for Drew McIntyre. I'm going for Drew McIntyre because this dude been my boy since day one, Roman. Yeah, you heard me, Roman. You heard me, Roman. Ro Drew McIntyre has been my favorite person since young boy been returning to SmackDown. Like, yo, get out, get out of here. Get out of here, you, you ugly little figure, Roman. Look at your action figure stuff. You know what? Let me, let me get this dude. Here, take this, Roman. Boom. Yeah, take that classical kiss, Roman. Yeah, can't wait for you back to our beach a Survivor Series. So, Drew, you really have to beat up Roman Reigns. Because this dude keeps thinking he's a tribal chief. Okay, but, but listen, though. I mean, WWE might be doing the same thing with Roman Reigns and Ro Drew McIntyre. Just like how Drew McIntyre beat Brock Lesnar. Paul Heyman's former ex-client. But yeah... Whatever it is, I'm going with Drew McIntyre. This dude's been my boy since he was WWE Champion and won that Royal Rumble and won this Royal Tag Team Champion. Just like Roman Reigns couldn't even done anyway. Heck, heck, Roman, well, how many times you won? All you won was the Universal Championship. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Those are my Survivor Series 2020 predictions. Uh, I'm just really sick and tired of Roman Reigns, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I should figure Roman. So I Glasgow kiss you, but you deserve it until Drew McIntyre beats you up. But um, yeah. So you know what? We are on the road to Survivor Series, but this Sunday at Survivor Series, though, who will do you guys think will win? Put a comment down. What's your thought about who will win? Team Raw or Team SmackDown? As always, guys, that is it for today's video of Melvin, guys. Of course, so y'all don't have to. If you're watching this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. And put a comment down below. And also, guys, subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification on. And also, share this video to all your friends, your family, the WWE business, Stephanie McMahon, Vince McMahon, Daniel Bryan, share that. Every WWE superstar is included. So, um, yeah, without further ado, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.